activity that he learned in the in the rooms with NA. Um, and he added that to his his incredible entrepreneur's spirit and his and his will to get things done. And I, I'm going to be I'm going out here because I think I think this will be the first time. So if this catches on, remember where you heard it first. But I think I think of Steve as the Richard Branson of recovery <laughs> in many ways because you can't hold him down. This guy has more ideas in a lunchtime than I've had in my entire life, and. He gets most of them done. A few of them fall by the wayside. They're a bit too out there, but, but most of them get done. So he's an incredible force um, for good. Um, when he was looking for this building, so he got the, a capital grant from Public Health England to get this building, and then there was quite a journey to finding an actual building to make this happen. So absolutely agree with what Adrian's saying. As we'll hear as we go on, it's what goes on in the building that's important. But you've got to have a building, first of all. And I reckon I must have looked at 50% of the spare real estate in Birmingham with Steve at some point over the last two years, looking for a suitable place. On Alcock Street alone, Steve, Steve took me through rooms with uh, jacuzzis and gold-plated taps. He took me to um, the largest uh, cannabis farm in Birmingham that had been closed down in one of, one of the lots down there. He took me to the Top Gear um, production team offices. Um, and this building itself, I swear, looked like the set of Peaky Blinders when, when we first came in. And look at it now. So that's testament to what can be um, achieved. Steve, Steve's always had a dream. He started with the, with the recovery housing angle uh, of changes. That would have been great on its own, but he built around it the recovery academy and, and the wraparound services that are absolutely essential in the early days of, of recovery. And his ideas, as you'll hear, for um, recovery enterprises and businesses are just fantastic. And if anyone could get them done, Steve can. And I have to say, I said I, when I asked my, my, my patients, my clients, do you know anyone in recovery? And they usually, they, they maybe say one. Nine times out of ten, it's actually Steve that they know. So he, he gets out there, he gets, people know him. Um, I, I think that... What's incredible, the last thing I want to say before I, I hand over to Steve, is that um, despite all these gifts, he's an incredibly humble guy. He knows where, he, where he's come from. And his ideas could have been sold all over the country. And I know he's had offers, people want him to do things in different places. But he stuck to Birmingham, he stuck to where he was from, where he ran into trouble in the first place, and where he's turned it round. And we're very grateful for that, because Birmingham's got a great asset. So, without further ado, I'd ask you to put your hands together for Steve Dixon. Yeah.